Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add an image post to your site using the Best Website Builder. Once you've logged into your site, just click on the Image tab here. First you'll need to choose the image for this post, so click the button right here. If you already have your image loaded into the library, just select it. You'll know it's selected because you'll see a check box in the top left and an orange stroke around the image. You can also drag and drop your photos. I'm going to show you that now. I've got the image queued up in another window. I'm just going to drag it into the area right here. Make sure you drag it into the area with the dotted line. Now once that photo uploads, I'll be able to select that image and add it to this image post. You can also add multiple images at the same time by selecting more of them and then dragging them in there. Once the image loads in, choose it by clicking on it once and then choose OK right here. Now you can always choose a different image at any time if you need to swap out the photo for another one. This first image here, enlarge image, this is great if, let's post it and take a look, if you want a user to your site to be able to see the image larger. So now whenever I click on the image, it opens up a shadow box and you can clearly see the photo large on the screen. This is great for something like a map or maybe like a before and after picture that you really want them to see the detail. I'm going to click edit the post to go back into the details. You can also add a link to an image. You can link it to a separate website, to a page on your site. You can have it prompt an email or when someone clicks on the photo, photo um, it'll bring up a number for them to dial. I don't need either one of those options for this example, so I'm going to skip that. Now you can also add a title and a description. I've got a description already copied in my clipboard, so I'm going to paste it now to go along with the photo. I'm just going to do a little bit of styling on this now, and as always, you've got the same styling options as you normally do. Whenever you click into a text field, you'll be able to see the options right above you. You can also add a button if you'd like. Before we get into the button, let's take a look at the different text options. So you can decide if you want to show all of the text, if you want this text to expand and collapse, and if you want the text to wrap. So first let's look at show all. I'm going to click post and show you, the, show you what it looks like. So on show all, all of the text that I copied in, all of the text in the, in the description can be seen. If I do expand and collapse, the user has the option to click the read more link here in order to access the rest of the content. And if I want the text to wrap, just click this checkbox here, and now the text will wrap underneath the image. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uncheck that for now and quickly add a button. I want someone to learn more about this product on another page. So I'm going to link it to a page on my site. I'm going to change the button color to match the cornflakes that are in the photo. At least I think they're cornflakes. I'm going to change the button color to black so I have good contrast. And I think I want it to be just a little bit brighter. There we go. And since all of my text is left justified, I'm going to go ahead and left justify my button. Let's take a look at the button now. Good deal. All right, before we get into the layout options, I'm going to show you the difference between the image border being on or off. So with the image border off, this is what the photo looks like. There's no drop shadow, there's no stroke. And with it on, it adds a stroke around the photo and puts a subtle drop, drop shadow at the bottom. Okay, now let's look at all the different layout options. So there's several different layout options to choose from. Let's start with all of the layouts with the photo on the left. So with the photo at the left, it puts the title, that's what this gray bar represents, to the right of the photo and all the information below it. That's the example that we've been 
seeing every time I click post here. But let's take a look at it with the title above the photo. Now the title is above the photo and then the text is aligned with the photo. And for this option, the photo is gonna take up the entire container to the left of it. Once that loads, you'll be able to see what that looks like. Now the best way to see which option works best for you is to click on each of the options and then see which one you like better. I actually like the way this one looks. But for each layout option, there are also different image size options. So in this situation, the image size is set to one third. I'm gonna quickly walk through all the different image size options for this layout. So at one fourth, the image will be one fourth the size of the whole post, meaning the image is a little bit smaller for this one. You saw one third, but let's take a look at it again. And take a look at one half. Great. And now with the last one, the photo will be larger than the text area. Very cool. In design, it's good to experiment. Click on the different options to see which one you like best. Also think about iFlow. We read from top to bottom, left to right. So knowing that, we kind of read in a, zig, in a Z pattern. You can use that to your advantage whenever deciding where you want your photo and where you want your text. Let's take a look at these other layout options now. This middle column is just a mirror of what we've already seen. So if I click here, I want to put it back to one third on the image size and take a look. I'm just going to cycle through all these so you get a good, a good idea of what each one looks like. And again, now the image is going to take up the full container on the right. One design hack as well is, do you notice this bottle is pointing this way, but there's nothing it's pointing to. So because of that, I actually like the photo to be on the left. Now the bottle points to the text, directing your eye right to where the content is. Let's look at the last options here. This would be where the photo is center aligned at the bottom of the title and the description. And here, it's above the title and description. And this one, it's below it, but it takes up the entire image container. Great. Now I'm gonna go back to this one. I felt like I liked the way this looked the best for this example. And I'm gonna show you that you can also add a photo behind a photo by going to the row setting. First of all, I'm gonna adjust the height a little bit to get a little bit more uh, space around the text. And then you can add an image in here. I've got a subtle texture that I've already loaded into the image library. I'm gonna select it now and hit okay. And then I'm gonna play with the overlay color to see how much of that photo that I want to display. I wanna make sure that the text is still viewable, but I'm just creating a subtle texture behind the text. I think I'm liking that. Click OK. Very cool. Let's take a look at what this, how this looks on multiple devices. So if I click the preview, uh, preview link here, we'll see it loads in and it's looking great on all three devices. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.